Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that I got asked a few times in the past uh, month or so, and uh, just recently in the past few days, is about the Windows updates uh, on Windows 10 and Windows 11, and had a few questions with that. So uh, first of all, a lot are asking if the Windows updates on Windows 10 are as efficient as the ones on Windows 11, uh, or is it, you know, the same? Is it different? Are there really some differences in both systems? Unfortunately, Windows 10 updates are not as optimized as Windows 11. Windows 11 still has a much better update system. We talked about it when Windows 11 was actually released, how the updates are so much slimmer and also faster to install. And it's still the case that the Windows updates in Windows 11 are way better uh, in terms of installs. And also you've got a lot more information about the time of that uh, estimated time of installs and so on. So unfortunately, that's not in Windows 10 and has not been added to Windows 10. And I kind of don't really expect that to be added to Windows 10. One of those things at Microsoft that probably they could <clears throat> change Windows 10 core to have it optimized like Windows 11, but probably Microsoft doesn't really care and wants you anyways to move to Windows 11 so they're not doing anything. So <clears throat> Windows 11 does have an edge and for the same types of updates, it will be much faster. And the updates themselves are actually slimmer. So there's less download happening for the updates on Windows 11. Now, um, the um, question of updates is about also the fact that are there going, going to be big updates, you know, is there something that is going to resemble real big reinstalls almost like the feature updates in Windows 10. Definitely, although they are not happening as much in Windows 11 because of the de delivery optimization and the way they can add features, there's definitely going to be bigger updates. And the 22H2 update actually is in that category where it's going to be a much bigger update. But even that is going to be slimmer and even that is going to be much um, much faster to install than any Windows 10 big feature update ever was. <clears throat> so these are things that uh, you need to know about the delivery optimization and the way that Windows updates are in Windows 11 versus Windows 10. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, it'd be fun if Windows 10 would have had that uh, update. The other questions I get about Windows updates also is the fact that, um, once again, we know that Windows 11 is getting one major update a year, but it also gets a lot of little updates of features here and there throughout the year. So it's not just one big chunk of updates and features that's happening together. It's little updates of things here and there, and we had some in uh, February, March, with a few new things in here, plus all the new apps that come through the Microsoft Store but we add some of the new features that uh, our 22H2 will also have. Windows 10, what's happening? We are not hearing anything. We are not testing anything that is 22H2, but we know 22H2 is a Windows 10 thing. So that means that this fault, we're, there's gonna be something. The fact we don't hear much, it's gonna be very small update, probably just a cumulative update, not one of those big feature updates that has those really long install phases shows that Microsoft is really focusing on Windows 11 more and Windows 10 is just going to have these minor updates, which is fine. Honestly, for most people, that is what people want. And we said it, boring is good in the past. And I think for most people, boring is exactly what you want. Not too many changes so that they don't get lost and don't have, you know, features and things that they just never use. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.